A huge fire broke out in the morning in Warsaw at around 3.30 a.m. local time. An alarm was received from the monitoring system at the municipal headquarters of the state fire service, and the first two fire trucks were dispatched. In total, more than 240 firefighters were involved in extinguishing the fire. At its peak, nearly 100 fire trucks of the state fire service and volunteer depots were on the scene, as well as specialized equipment. The hull burned to the ground. This structure has collapsed, that is, the walls, ceiling and roof have collapsed, which also makes it difficult for firefighters to conduct operations and extinguish the fire. A mobile dust measuring device was used. Their concentration at the scene, even in the morning, had exceeded two and even three times. Interestingly, air quality monitoring stations showed no significant increase in concentrations of PM10 and PM2.5, sulfur dioxide and nitrogen dioxide in other areas of Warsaw. Only the station in Warsaw on Tolstoya Street, a station owned by the Warsaw City Hall, located in the Bielany district, about 6.5 kilometers southwest of the fire, recorded values about twice as high as at the surrounding stations during the period. Firefighters point out that moments after being reported, the fire covered two-thirds of the massive building, and the source of the fire was in several places. It's a very strange situation that after just 11 minutes there was such an area covered by the fire. Marewilska 44 is the largest shopping center in Warsaw, which specializes in wholesale and retail. The facility has more than 1,400 stores and service outlets. The owners, who include foreigners, are heartbroken because they have lost their source of income. Now I don't know what to do. I rent an apartment and have a loan, and now I don't know how to pay it. The government security center issued a warning in connection with the fire. However, it did so extremely late. Some residents didn't receive the alert until 6.10 a.m. local time, although the fire broke out nearly three hours earlier. Some residents of Białowęka, where the fire broke out, received the alert later than residents of neighborhoods farther from the scene. The issue of the fire outbreak has sparked a heated discussion online. Opposition politicians are asking why Warsaw President Rafał Trzaskowski did not appear on the scene. Not long ago, they were protesting outside Warsaw City Hall, shouting, Stop robbing us! Today, merchants from Marewilska 44 lost their jobs within hours. To many of them, the fire took all their belongings. Immediate protective measures are needed from the city. On March 1st, merchants protested in front of the capital city hall against drastic rent increases, which are already far from market rates. The protesters announced that if they do not receive help from the city, they will set up their stalls on Defilat Square, from where they were forcibly moved out years ago during the presidency of Hanna grunkiewicz waltz such dramatic events, such as this huge fire, do not happen by accident. Interestingly, this is not the only fire that broke out in Warsaw today. After 12 local time, the fire department received a report of a large fire in Shekerki, where a landfill site was on fire. Meanwhile, on Friday in Szymianowice Śląskie, a fire broke out at a hazardous waste dump where chemicals were stored in containers and barrels. Where are the Polish services? If this had happened during the rule of law and justice, sovereign Poland, during the election campaign, Tusk would by now have at least 10 tweets. There would have been a scandal, and Mr. Szczerba would be running into that blaze. Former Deputy Minister of Climate and Environment, Jacek Ozdoba, adds that the new government is dismantling institutions to fight environmental crime. The director of the Department for Combating Environmental Crime, a longtime Central Bureau of Investigation officer, was kicked out, fired, because it was thought he might be politically motivated. 
And who was appointed? A mere official from the National Research and Development Center. Such an event could also be part of a foreign service to test Poland's ability to respond to emerging threats. There have been official warnings coming from the U.S. intelligence community that today there could be sabotage actions by Russian services in connection with sowing chaos in Poland as well. The district building supervision inspector will now assess the condition of the building at Mariewilska 44, and all indications are that it will be subject to demolition. The site belongs to the city of Warsaw. There are rumors that the land may be earmarked for residential development and thus turned over to developers. Warsaw city authorities firmly disassociate themselves from these speculations.